channel. Today we're going to be making roast lamb. So we need a good sturdy roasting tin, non-stick, such as this one here. Then we'll get our leg of lamb, which has been dry. I've dried it off. That's it there. Nice leg of lamb, which I've dried off. Now what we're going to do is put some garlic in there. So what I need to do is, using a sharp knife, make some incisions in the leg of lamb like that. And then we're going to put our garlic in there. Plenty of those. You can even get your finger in, twist it about. So, okay, got the garlic here. Push that in. Turn it over. Add some more in. So now we need to add some oil, some seasoning and some spices before we put it in the oven. Right, so now we add our olive oil, which is meat. Turn that over and we'll olive oil on the other side. Now we're going to add our spices, some garlic salt, some dried oregano, and a little bit of smoked paprika. So I quite like the flavour of that with the lamb. So I'll add a little bit of that as well. Not too much. And we'll rub that in all over the meat. And we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, we'll rub that in as well. Next we need salt and pepper, plenty of salt, turn it over, more salt and pepper. Next what I'm going to do now is bake it in the oven at 200 degrees C for 30 minutes just to seal the meat and put a nice sear on the outside. And then I'll take it out of the oven after half an hour and then we're going to add some stock and wrap it up in foil. So I'm going to put it in the oven now for 30 minutes. So next I'm going to add some red onion, some lemon juice, some rosemary, some more garlic, some beef stock and a bit of water or you can use white wine. So we'll do that now. The lamb's had half an hour so it's nicely sealed now on the outside. So now I'm going to add a bit of lemon juice. That, just drizzle it on. Next we're going to add our beef stock. You can use chicken stock as well if you like, but uh, beef stock is a bit more depth to, to the flavour. We'll add a little bit of water as well. You can use white wine if you want. We'll add a little bit of water in there. Next we're going to add some red onions. These will give it a little bit of sweetness for the, for the gravy. Some garlic. This is just garlic that was left over from the ones I used to push into the meat. A bit of rosemary. Next we've got a bit of greaseproof paper. It stops the foil sticking to the meat. And now we need to wrap it in foil. Now it's going to go back in the oven for two hours. I've turned the oven down to 160. And then we'll take it out after two hours and turn the meat round. 
Right, we're back in the oven now. Right, so the lamb's had two hours. So I'm just going to take the foil off and turn it over. Oh wow. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. Try and turn it over. And there you go. back up put it in the oven for another two hours so the lamb's been roasting for another two hours so we'll take the foil off now I'm going to turn it over again And I'm going to put it back in the oven for another two hours uncovered. And now it should be ready. Turn it over again. And we're ready to put that back in the oven for another two hours. And then it should be ready. So that's the lamb done. It's had its final two hours. Um, don't throw any of this away. We're going to pass that through a sieve. That's basically going to make part of your gravy, that's your, all your flavours in that. So just transfer the lamb to a serving platter and we'll leave it to rest for about half an hour. We've just transferred that to a serving platter and then we'll just put some foil over the top just to keep it warm while it rests. Nice and warm now, so it's ready to serve. So next we just need to put all the liquor, pass it through a sieve to make our gravy. We need to get everything out of the uh, roasting tray. Now there might be a bit of fat lamb is obviously quite fatty but you can just skim that off and I don't use that bit or you can leave it in if you want extra flavour so that's the lamb ready put a side of Greek potatoes and carrots around it and you should just be able to do that put the meat just pull apart like that you see And then with that liquor that we had left in the pan from the reduced stock, has made our gravy. Right. Time to serve. 